What's going on guys, the Inhuman Pete Den, and I am back with more Marvel Avengers Alliance. Welcome back to a brand new episode of Suit Up, where I have a look at brand new outfits and tell you if they're worth getting or worth passing. Today we're having a look at the very weirdly named Phoenix 5 Phoenix. Now while F Phoenix never actually had a Phoenix 5 outfit, mainly because she was already dead at the point of this storyline, it was actually Namor who possessed the uh, fifth Phoenix slot, but Namor was not introduced into the game at that time, and thus Phoenix was dropped with the Phoenix 5 outfit. And it added one of the most annoying things at that time. This little back Phoenix part of hers is considered part of her character. And unfortunately, much like Angel and his big ass wings, they overlap character sprites and make it to where you might accidentally click her instead of the character you meant to pick. Now that aside, let's have a look at her. Like all Phoenix 5 characters, she possesses one buff to her power. And that's the Fires of Truth. Attacks are guaranteed to hit, and attacks become psychic energy, bypassing many status effects. So that means all attacks become psychic. God, that's almost as ridiculous sounding as Taskmaster making Iron Man's Unibeam stealthy. It's like, okay, I have this gigantic rock. I'm going to break your mind with it. Oh, well, that's okay. It just sounds ridiculous. I mean, it's cool in practice, like, uh, it's cool for, like, the game, but, I mean, if you were to apply that to a real-world situation, it sounds absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> Giant rock. Okay, that's psychic power. I won't take physical damage. Oh, God, my limbs! Anyways. So, her, bu her buff is actually pretty cool, allowing most attacks to become psychic energy. So it can basically bypass many statuses because Psychic can't be countered. It's a mind thing. Only a few people can stop it, and a couple inorganic creatures are immune to it. Because they're robots for the most part. And in which case, you probably wouldn't be bringing Phoenix along for that. Well, because she only has one attack that isn't Psychic. But anyways... So unlike Cyclops, who just gave that buff that only that an entire class have, hers is actually pretty useful, turning it into psychic energy to be able to bypass ooh, countermeasures, um, guarding, things like that. So it is a cool thing, and she does come in Blaster and Tactician. No difference between that. But however, I think she might have been trumped in terms of. Otherwise, by her White Crown Phoenix, which gave her the Phoenix Force, which applies death and rebirth again, which is a main gimmick she got later on when she got Phoenix Fire readjusted. But I think the risk is worth taking it for this if you just want, like I said, the Phoenix Five set. Although now it doesn't make any difference because now they're on, they're permanently here. They're here forever, like the Avengers set. I just, I don't know how much these cost either, 45, 32, wow, that's 10 times cheaper than this, but, eh, Phoenix Energy being caught back, I don't know. Usually if you have a good strategy, you're not dying that often, so that's the way I see it. It's also one of the reasons I haven't ponied up for it yet. That's just me. But unlike Cyclops, I can recommend picking this one up. Her... Uh, her buff, or passive, does seem very much usable, unlike Cyclops, who just allowed you to crit and bypass defense, like Blasters. Hers actually turns it into Psychic Energy, and unless you're fighting certain characters, I think there's only two or three that are immune to Psychic Powers, and like I said, if you know that right off the bat, you're probably not going to bring her. But it is cool. So I can recommend picking her up. And I think maybe aside from Emma, she maybe have the best outfit out of the Phoenix 5 characters. Mainly because I can't remember what Emma's is. 
But I guess we'll find out next time, because next time we're finishing up the Phoenix Five. Despite their name, there are only four outfits, because one of them is their standard outfit. We will be looking at Emma Frost. So Phoenix gets my recommendation of buy her. Uh, so far, she has had the best passive out of the Phoenix Five I've looked at. And while she does have a sec another outfit that a lot of people tend to use, my way is I don't tend to die, so death and rebirth isn't much useful to me. By the way, if you don't know what death and rebirth is, it's the next time an ally would die, they have a 50% chance to be healed to 25%. Also, when they die, it allows her to get access to her final ability. The other one allows her to do that multiple times every time she kills an enemy. But I like this one, so I'd recommend picking it up. Blaster or Tactician is all your call. You know me, I like to keep them in their original outfits. But that's just me. Sometimes I can't do that now, can I, Miss Marvel? It's okay, I like your powers. You make up for it. Anyways, so next time we'll be having a look at Emma Frost. So until then, catch you all later. Asta.